Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, let's quickly get to the Teams app and install it and see how you can configure. So basically we have downloaded the Teams app. Let's go to the download and open the download. So it will start the installation process. Let me minimize this. So I'll use my premium account here, right? So I'll use another account so we get the full fledged features of it let me grab the email id so once you provide your email id click next you'll enter the password so you'll get this prompt stay signed in in to all your apps so we'll just simply say yes okay and then we are good to go with the microsoft teams right so we are all set click on done so most probably all of these steps that i'm covering it is only if you are going ahead with installing and learning but if you are part of the team you will by default be having access to teams and your account will be created and this is the interface that you will look into once you will log in right so this is the left navigation bar right so wherein we have the activity so any sort of activity that will happen uh, for example chat or at mention anything like that will be basically available here in the feed in the chat section you will have all of the chats depending on whether you are having group chat or one to one chat all of these chats will be available here in the chat section in the team section you will have all the teams that are available right so all the teams that are available uh, will be in the team section in the calendar you will get all the calendar details what meetings have been there and how your day looks like in terms of calendar or basically how busy you are uh, in the call section you will get all the calls that you have got basically phone or any of the video calls will be basically available in the call section and in the contacts you will have all the contacts that you will be having there okay in the file section you will be having the access to any of the files for example any files that have been shared with you or you are working co in collaboration with the file you will get all the file details or the files that are available here you will also have access to the cloud storage the one drive here and if you go to the three ellipses here you will get more apps that you can find so basically you can go ahead and have the different apps for example the shift stream approvals etc so we'll cover all of this in much more detail in one by one tutorial right but this is briefly what the left navigation bar will look like if you go to the apps it will open the app store wherein you will get all the apps that are available right so it's kind of the microsoft app store and you can get the apps and install the apps based on the requirement for your projects okay we'll cover more details on the apps as well in the help section you will get the help right and if you go back at the top you will see you have the search bar here okay and in the right hand side you have these three ellipses which is more of customizing or changing the settings right so you'll get the settings then you can zoom in and zoom out right so at the moment you will see that it's basically zoomed at 120 percent okay let me minimize this and then you can basically cast it as well so if you are having the chromecast or something you can cast it on the you know different uh, devices uh, for example big screen or uh, television and then for your personal settings so basically this is your account settings you can go ahead and manage your account and then sign out if you want to sign out of the team okay so this is briefly what exactly the high level navigation about the team is and this is the desktop app that we have installed right so you'll see that here if we uh, go to the team you'll see that we have this one team and then general uh, channel available there so we'll understand all about it but the purpose of this tutorial was to install this app and walk you through the navigation or basically the high level of the teams one more thing within the team is that you will get once you go to the teams right so all the teams that you are part of basically will be available here and you can go to the uh, posts and if there are any files that are available or shared you will be getting those into the file section of the teams right so that's briefly about the teams desktop app in the next tutorial i'll start working on each of these features step by step so you get a uh, hold of each of these features uh, clearly so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching